What's going on guys, Michael Turk here, back with another video. In this one, I'm gonna show y'all my dorm room. Dunham College, dun dum dum. And it's right across the street from the football stadium. How much more ideal can you get? Over there is the practice fields, and over there is the stadium. It's about a punt distance away. It's gotta be a good punt. And I thought, you know what? This dorm is pretty sweet. I got a room to myself. Why not show my subscribers what it's like? It's currently nighttime out, but um, I have no homework or anything. I already trained today. I'm focused on football first. Well, of course, Jesus first. But I figured, why not show my subscribers how my dorm is? And uh, I'm not doing anything else right now. I'm not, I don't go out to parties or anything either. So let's check out this dorm. So first of all, you usually got to scan to get in. Right now, the scanner's open. Let's go in. So now we're entering Dunham College. Oh, there's somebody. Hello. Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't recording you. I'm doing like a vlog. Of, okay. This is the front of the dorm. This elevator's taking a while. I'm on four. I'm on four. Excuse me. No, this is Cellucor. It's a supplement. <laughs> What's up, man? What's your name? Parker. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Okay, so now we're on the fourth floor. This is the floor that I live on. You guys, I'll show you around the lobby area. Pretty nice. It's like Hogwarts up in here. They got the little lounge studying over here. It's kind of funny. I went to college a few years ago. My first college, Lafayette College. Now I'm 23, a grad student, and I'm on to my third college. I see freshmen all around me. Kind of interesting, but I'm not complaining. I'll show you more downstairs later on in the video, but let's go to my room right now, because I know most people probably just want to see that first. I like that integrity, perseverance, wisdom, nice. Welcome to Dunham. But you need to use your ID card to get into the dorm. See so you scan right there. And now we're in. We're in. This is my single room. We've made it into my single room. Now there's a lot of kids walking around here right now. I think a lot of them are moving in. And my room's not much, as you guys can see. You walk in, it's just a room. There's no living room and stuff like that. That's outside in the lobby. And I do have to share a bathroom. However, I have a room to myself, a great view. It's really close to the stadium, so I'm not complaining. Now let me show you guys around. So that's the door that we just walked in. Uh, I got a little bit of decoration set up already. That's my nameplate from the 2020 Combine. Here is my name tag. And I like to remember those. Obviously it didn't go too great for me, I didn't get drafted, but I like to remember because it's a good goal, it's a good reminder, I got humbled. And my goal is still to play in the NFL. Lord willing, I'm gonna try my hardest to do that and I'm motivated to do that. So that kind of reminds me and motivates me to do that. Now here is, um, you can set the temperature in here, AC, but it doesn't go below 68, that's kind of a doozy, but it's cold enough, it's cold enough. Here's a closet, got my towels hanging here obviously. That is a makeshift little trash right there. I'll buy a trash can soon. I don't have much in my closet right now. I got the brand new 100 year anniversary NFL ball. Uh, I got my shoes so far. I have a few pairs. Uh, if you guys saw my one video, I did a gear drop video. Here's my favorite cleats. Sheesh, Tiempo Legend 6s, um, OU edition. Uh, personalized, there's my number on it. Number 37. These are super sweet, kangaroo leather, I love them. I have a pair of those in my locker and here in my dorm, and I'll probably get some more soon, hopefully. But here's the rest of my room, here's my desk. Well, I do, I'll do the live stream Bible studies right here. Got my little HD webcam on top of my camera. Got the Yeti mic. There's my Bible, MacArthur Study Bible. I've had that thing for like six years, so it's done me good. Here's my bed. That's a good part about this room. It does come with a full bed, so that's great. If it was a twin, I'd be struggling. Now, some of you might roast me for my quote unquote decorations. I'm still gonna decorate some more. I'm not too much of a decorative guy though. Maybe Lord willing, my wife will do that one day if I ever have a wife. There's a good probability I'll probably be single. But anyway, here's my decorations. We got the Pistol Pete shorts. 
That's my favorite basketball player. And there's a big backstory to that. When I went to the Combine, I watched a documentary at Pistol Pete with my uncle in the room. And it was a weird, it was bizarre timing. The Lord had me watch it for a reason. So that's a good reminder. Here's my Combine hat. I know that probably made no sense to most people, but um, here is a warm-up hoodie from ASU number 67. Now you might be confused. Why do I have a warm-up hoodie from ASU number 67? Well, my other uncle, Dan Turk, who played in the NFL for a long time, uh, just like my uncle Matt Turk did, he passed away in 2001. He was a center and long snapper, and he wore number 67. So I asked uh, one of the other punters who used to be number 67 for the warm-up hoodie, and it's a good reminder for me uh, because Dan, I never got to know him too much uh, before he passed away, but he was definitely a rock in our family and had faith in the Lord and definitely influenced our family a lot. So that's just a memory in memory of Dan. Pretty cool story about this hat. John Kitna, ex-NFL QB, he wore this hat in warm-ups and got fined because it wasn't a team issued hat and it had Christian symbols on it. And actually, um, I got it from him. So I love this hat. It's really cool. There's my OU backpack. Boomer Sooners, Big 12 Championship. Our Big 12 Champions 14 times. Yes, sir. Sponsored by Jordan. Here is my microwave and my mini fridge. We got another NFL ball on top just to remind me of what my career goal is. This actually works pretty well, and so does this. It's not the nicest ever, but I got some snacks in there. Of course, those are from the facilities. Got to stay hydrated. That's key to not getting injured. Over here, we got we got our uh, nightstand thingy. We got a MacArthur Preacher's Bible, and it's the Lord. The, it's the Word of God. It's the Lord, but just MacArthur is the one who helped um, make this version the preacher's version it's like one line every verse so it's, it's helpful to read in the pulpit got some pre-workout here some snacks some gatorade more muscle milk and i just put this on the back of my bed it's a little lame but it's like a light strip oh it already fell off wow that's embarrassing now let me show you guys something else pretty cool i'm gonna go ahead and turn off my light first i'm gonna turn off my light first because it's a great view it'll probably be better with the light off but here's my view from my room pretty sweet Stadiums across the street, as you guys can see, that's pretty sick. And it's super convenient for me being on the team. I can just uh, walk there every morning. I walk down there and then the sidewalk, go around and I can enter in over there. So it's very sweet, very convenient. Of course, uh, the Lord set this up for me. Yes, sir. I say we now rummage around the building, show you guys what else the building looks like, see if we run into any other people. People are moving in, so maybe some interesting things will happen. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, bro? What was your name again? Gavin. Gavin, Michael. that's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See you around, Gavin. Now we're back on the first floor, just exploring, seeing what else this dorm has to offer. So, let's do it. So, as y'all can see, this is like the outdoor like courtroom area, and kids can come out here, just play catch, do whatever, study. It's usually super nice out here. They got a nice little open field, some tables to chill at. And earlier we had like a little uh, orientation where people were eating food out here. Oh, we gotta clean this up. Why are people leaving their crap out? The nerve of, the nerve of some people. Another little movie hangout room over here. What's this? Dang, it's actually pretty nice, low key. What the heck? Meditation. What's that? Oh, it's locked. That's a nice room. It's like a library in here. They better have the Bible in here. If you guys don't know, the most selling book in history is the Bible. Let's see if it's in here. Do you guys spot the Bible in here? I don't actually. Hmm. We're gonna have to change that. I'll make sure to drop like 40 down here. But other than that, it's actually pretty cool in here. Wait a second, what is this? God is my CEO. Following God's principles in a bottom mind world. I'm actually gonna have to check this out. I can't tell if it was being blasphemous or it's actually serious. And it actually looks like they're making a point, like you need to follow God and put him as boss. Cool, I'm gonna come down here and actually check this out. Nice guys, we discovered that. We discovered that together on camera here. No cap, that's the first time I saw that. More people walking around. Hello. There you have it guys, not the most extensive tour of where I stay, but at least you have an idea of where I stay now, right across the street from the stadium. Stay tuned for football videos, all sorts of content. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. A like and notification bell also goes a long way. See you all in the next one, I appreciate it. Let's go high. Yes sir.